New in the crypto space is Pyron. This is a relatively new cryptocurrency token that today on that Teco Guy, I will be showing you how to mine with your GPU. Stay tuned. Okay, so Pyron, let's check out what exactly Pyron is and how you can actually mine it. So on my screen here, you can see the Pyron homepage. And here, this is the next generation decentralized transaction network, a novel fair launched ghost tag implementation designed to provide a decentralized high throughput, low latency, secure transaction network with built-in smart contracts secured by a resource managing proof of work revolution. So this is a relatively new token. This came out around Q4 of last year, 2023. And you can see more details here. I'm not gonna bore you to death. I'm gonna leave a link of the Pyron Network website down in the description below this video so that you can check out this at your leisure. So what I wanted to dig into today is how you can actually mine Pyron and what profits you can potentially make. Now the hardware I'm going to be using is an RTX 3080 graphics card, okay? So here you can basically go to GitHub or you can go to documentations where you can see even more information but what I am doing is I am using LOL miner to mine this token, okay? So if I go to GitHub, we'll go straight to LOL miner and just download that. Again, I am going to leave a link for everything down below this video in the description below so that you can find it easy. Okay, here in LOL Miner 1.82a at the time of recording this video, that is the latest version, improved heavy hash Pyron performance on GTX 16 cards by about 25 to 30%, improved heavy hash Pyron performance on GTX 10 series cards by about 10%. So improved energy efficiency of heavy hash Carlson as well, mining on GTX 16 series cards and also slightly improved performance by about 1.5%. So if you can see here, this is uh, talking about all the graphics card, GTX 16 series and 10 series. So if you've got like a 1070 or maybe a 1650, that's gonna make quite a bit of difference with the new version of LOL Miner, okay? So basically you just need to download LOL Miner. I'm going to download the Windows version because Windows is what I am using. And then I will show you exactly how this is going to work. So here you can see the extracted LOL Miner 1.8.2 that we just downloaded, okay? So here are all the files and this is really, really simple. Here you will find a batch file which is already there, all ready to go, not just for Pyron, but also for things like Ergo and ETH and other cryptocurrencies as well. So we're just going to find the Pyron one here and we're going to right click on that and click on edit in Notepad, okay? So you can edit this with Notepad. I am using Windows 11 at the moment, so you might have a bit of a different structure when it comes to the menu. So edit in Notepad and this is what you're going to see, okay? So this is the script for running the miner. So what I am doing is I am using the default pool, which is de.pyron.herominers.com. So I'm going to be mining on the hero miners pool on port 1177. My wallet I have already set here. Now, in order to get your wallet, you need to get that either using the wallet that Pyron do provide from their website, which is right over here. And you can go to the, um, to the tools section and actually download the wallet further down below here and download the web wallet. You can do that or you can use a wallet on an exchange, which is exactly what I am going to use. Now, some people don't recommend that you mine directly to a wallet on an exchange for the reason that if the wallet address changes, then you could potentially be losing your funds, okay? Because you won't be mining to the, the same wallet. But I am going to be mining to an exchange and the exchange that I'm using is Trade Ogre and 
you can get your wallet address from Trade Ogre very easily. So I have my Trade Ogre website open up right here. And here you can see that they do have Pyron. If you actually search for it, it will come up. So there is Pyron right here. Currently the price of Pyron is at 3 cents 6. Okay, so that is USD. Uh, the pair is USDT, okay? So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on my profile, I'm going to go to deposit, and I'm going to say that I want to deposit for a particular coin, and I will be depositing for Pyron, obviously. So I'm going to look for that coin in the list here, and I'm gonna type in Pyron. There we go. And here it's going to bring up my wallet address. And this is exactly what I have put in to the script right here. Okay, so it ends in PH4W2, PH4W2. It's important to include Pyron colon, okay, and then the wallet address, okay. So that's exactly how I've entered that in right there. And that is basically it, okay. You can set extra parameters here if you want, but you don't have to, okay. I'm trying to show you the easiest and out of the box way how you can do this, but obviously you can fine tune it and dig deeper into LOL Miner to get some more out of it as well. Now the settings on my RTX 3080 are default. They are out of the box. I did not do any overclocking, although my RTX 3080 is the Palette Game Rock Overclocked Edition, which comes overclocked out of the box, but I can definitely fine tune it more to get even better performance if I wanted to for sure. But I'm just going to show you how this is going to work out of the box, okay? So that's all the two lines that you need to edit, the begin of user editable part and the end of user editable part. So those are the only two lines that you really need to amend. So you just save that and close it down. And then I'm going to go back to my folder here and I'm just going to run that batch file, okay? So as soon as I start running that batch file, it will start mining on Hero Miners. Now, I hope that the screen capture won't crash on me while I'm recording this video, so let's give it a whirl. Here we go, this is going to start. It, find, it found my NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. You might hear the fans, they're gonna to start to spin up very soon. Okay, just give it some time. I've already tried this already and I'm getting around 7.7 .7 giga hash per second out of the box, but we'll give that some time to whirl up. Here it's already 6.1 and it'll start mining on Hero Miners. 7.3. The fans are gonna start to spin up and pump up. You might hear that in the background. By the way, this is a 10 gigabyte version of the RTX 3080 and it is not an LHR card. It is not hash rate limited. I'm not totally sure if that will make a difference or not for any of you that have hash rate limited cards on this algorithm. So 7.4 there. I'm burning a power wattage of 336 watts just for one card, okay? So that's quite a significant amount of power. 7.3, I did actually make it up to 7.7. .7. Okay, you can then obviously go to the website of Hero Miners to check your progress. All right, so if I go here, I can show you exactly Hero Miners. So this is pyrant.herominers.com. Okay, I'm just going to refresh this. Here you can see all the servers. I was using de.pyron.herominers.com in the script, but you can use whatever is closest to your location so that you get better performance. Okay, we can see a couple of statistical information here for Pyron. Network hash rate is 445 terahash. And now I'm, I'm contributing 7.7 .7 giga hash out of all of that. So that's not very much, but this is just one graphics card and I did not try to overclock it or anything. If I put in my wallet address here, which I have already done and look it up, you'll be able to see my current hash rate. It's not yet reflected totally. And my average hash rate in the past six hours, because I've already run this and average 24 hours, Last I submitted was 
uh, less than a minute ago because obviously it's running here. Now, now give this some time and when you sometimes look this up, this is obviously going to change. Um, but obviously that will reflect after some time. So it's going to take some time until it notices that I'm at 7.1 giga hash per second at the moment. Uh, and my current wattage again is 368 watts. Okay. Here further up, I can say estimated profits. So if I am running at 7.7 .7 or let's say 7.1 giga hash per second, okay, which is what I am getting pretty much 7.2, 7.3. Okay, let's say 7.3, okay? Here it'll tell me that with the current difficulty and the current network hash rate at the moment, the daily pyron that I will make is 24.1, okay? This is an average estimation, which equates to 88 USD cents, okay? So that's 88 USD cents, and that is before deducting electricity costs as well. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, obviously, bear in mind that I have not fine-tuned my card. I do have other videos on how you can use things like MSI Afterburner to be able to overclock your card. And overclocking your card does not mean that you will necessarily be burning more power. Actually, quite the opposite. Sometimes you will actually limit your power to be able to get better efficiency, which will mean, in the long run, better profits as well. So do check out my video on overclocking video cards, especially the RTX 3080, because I do have videos on that and I'll leave a link down in the description below for you to find that as well. So potentially here I can make a bit more, if I'm not mistaken, I can make around 95 cents or so, or around one US dollar per day before deducting electricity costs. And after deducting electricity costs, it'll come down to around 75 cents a day, which means that yes, this is profitable. Bear in mind again that this has just started as well. It hasn't been on the markets very long. So Pyron is an emerging token at the moment, which can potentially in the future make quite a big bang and profit for you as well. But this is no financial advice. So it's always very important to do your own research. But that is, in a nutshell, what I wanted to show you today, how easy it is to be able to mine Pyron on your GPUs. If I had more than one GPU here, it would have automatically detected all of them as well, okay? You can fine-tune LOL Miner as well and add in some extra parameters. So do check out the documentation for LOL Miner. You can actually get help for that through the command line interface as well. So check out all the options that you can use and see how many GPU cores you're gonna be using and CUDA cores and things like that, okay? So here my shares are being accepted and I am currently at 7.1 giga hash per second, which is equal to 7,100 mega hash per second, as you can see right there, okay? You can see obviously the settings that I have, which are all default. So the core clock is at 1,770 and the memory clock is at 9,251. I can obviously uh, play with these a bit to get a better result as well and lower the, um, the usage of the power as well, okay? So that is definitely something that I will be doing as well. But straight out of the box, those are my results and those are my results here for the profitability as well on the Heroes Miner pool. You can try other pools as well. So just uh, search around and uh, try, try and experiment a bit and see how it goes for you. The main point and the main takeaway from all this is that Pyron is here and it is profitable, okay? So do keep that in mind. I hope that you found this video useful and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below, smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.